का जो उनका लाइफ है जो उसमें उनका जाता है एवरी थिंग इज हैपेंड विद द लिप एंड द बॉन्ड आई एम गोइंग आउट द रेयर नाउ एंड देन ओनली दिस इज द प्राइज ऑफ ओल्ड एज बट माई हेल्थ इज ओके यूजली एज एंड द पेन मीन्स उन्होंने ये बताया कि ओल्ड एज में दम हेल्दी है लेकिन जो उनका दर्द है क्योंकि एज के अनुसार कहीं ना कहीं जो पेन होता है वो है ऑल दो ही वॉज अ गुड हिज हेल्थ इज गुड बट he has some as and pen how is your health keeping nicely i am happy for that means this year i am 69 and i hope score century means wo bahut achhi baat yahan pe bataye ki wo ab 69 ki hai lekin wo wo apni age 100 tak ek century banana chahte hain wo apne bachcho ko message de rahe hain कि आई एम आ हेल्दी आई एम ओके आई एम फिट एंड फाइन जस्ट यू डोंट वरी अबाउट मी आप लोग अपनी चिंता करो मैं दम ठीक हूं एंड आई एम नाउ आई होप स्कोर सेंचुरी यू वे आर सो थिन लाइक अ स्टिक नाउ यू मैन ऑफ वेट एंड कॉन्सिक्वेंस दिस इज द गुड जॉक इफ यू आर कमिंग अगेन दिस साइड बाय द चेंज विजिट द प्लीज माई हम्बल रेसिडेंस ऑल्सो आई एम लिविंग जस्ट एज अपोजिट हाउस ऑफ द बैक साइड इसमें एक चीज है कि बुढ़ापे की लाइफ क्या होती है उन्होंने एक लास्ट टाइम में बहुत अच्छा दिया है कि मैं रहता तो हूँ लेकिन इन द बैक साइड घर के पीछे जिसके पास कोई किसी को देखने वाला नहीं है और वो एक हम्बल रिक्वेस्ट करते कि आल दो आई एम अप्पी आई एम अ फिट आई एम फाइन आई हैव नो एनी पेन जस्ट एज और पेन और आई होप स्कोर सेंचुरी बट ही रिक्वेस्ट टू हिज सन और हिज स्टूडेंट कि प्लीज विजिट टू माई ओल्ड हाउस एंड द आफ्टर दिस इज द मैनर डैट द पॉइंट वेरी इफेक्टिव ट्रांसलेट द मैन इंफ्लुएंस इन द एटीट्यूड ऑफ द इंडियंस डैट आर यूजली ओवर लुक और मेरली इग्नोर Now the second is second poet is A K Ramanujan his full name is Atipat Krishnan Swami Krishnan Swami Ramanujan Ramanujan his full name is Atipat Krishna Swami Ramanujan he was born in 1929 his education at Maharaja's कॉलेज मैसूर और ही टॉट एट द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ शिकागो सिंस 1962 इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ साउथ एशियन लैंग्वेजेस एंड द सिविलाइजेशन लिंग्विस्टिक एंड ही वाज द प्रोफेसर आल्सो एंड कमिटी ऑन द सोशल थॉट हिज वर्क द ऑथर ऑफ द मोर देन 15 बुक्स इन्होंने 15 से ज्यादा बुक्स लिखी हैं English and Kannads. In these books are the Sliders, 1966; Relations, 1971; Selected Poems, 1976; Second Sight, 1986; or Hocularize Havila, 1969. Some books are he translate from the. From Tamil language to Kannada, these are speaking of Shiva, which was written in 1972, the interior landscape 1967, Samaskara 1976, hymns for the drawing 1981, poem of love and war 1985, he was. Also awarded the Padma Shri in 1976, and he was also the MacArthur Prize Fellowship in 1983. In his poem, his poem, uh, the small scale reflection on a great house. The most important things in him in this poem is. uh it is the returning stanza that have the shape of rooms 
all the spaciness of a great or uh, ancestor house neighbors wives uncles emulate just as early in it or uh, as things from disease to pornography uh, he sorts as it often is family history and its event and embarrassment when added up give the small scale reflection on a great house sometimes i thinks that nothing that ever come into this house goes out things come in every day to lose themselves among the other things lost long ago among other things lost long ago i wandering cows from the nowhere have been no to be the hated give a name and cage to get the pregnant in a broad daylight of a street under the elders supervision the girls hiding in this poem uh, ramanujan describe means it has the uh, rightly said that ramanujan is not observed as a poet the poet in him as uh, to be a gratitude discovered his poem may not impress us on the first reading but a closer reading of this poem will ident uh, de um, definitely or uh, their uh, married hidden beauty ramanujan has his own personal view on the poetic process or we should be on god while making comment on his poetry in a light of the poet on view on that poetry should be like a poet's on view on poetry are often the well in a small scale reflection is a quaint cottage of the things that come into the great house but not to uh, but uh, uh, not do not go out as also the equally base list of the things that go out but soon come back even on the first reading the reader may feel a bit uneasy and he may find the poem of deeply disturbing on the in exhibits manner a close reading of the poem will convert the reader that the poem is the fine piece of the social criticism the poem the poem ensure a universal significant when we uh, pondered on this magnitude the poem we then come to recognize that the poem is an elegal on the death of the human dignity and identity the great house is not a house it is a graveyard of the human dignity and identity in a great house son in law share the same fate ramanujan has no uh, compassion or to club together things and the human being in the list of the things that come into the great house but do not go out a look at a benzin list is enough staring the cow library books this is servant phonograph son in law and the woman who comes as bread among the things that go out but soon return our daughter who come back as window and sons and nephew who come back as corpsen and distance battlefield why do daughter soon return as a windows ramanujan give the critipis answer crystal answer they were married to short life ideals this poem is more than a piece of criticism of an over crowd brahman household of south india it has a universal significant when the human being loses their dignity and the identity they are little better than the crowd these this vision of a ramanujan through this poem extends it to the night 
deserve the great poet in the world literature in this poem the ramanujan describe the small scale reflection of the great house yahan pe unhone bataya hai ki great house aur kuch nahi hai wo graveyard hai jahan pe jo ek bar jata hai wo wapas nahi aata unhone यहाँ पे गांव की जो एक रीति रिवाज है उससे रिलेटेड बताए एक बहुत अच्छा उन्होंने प्रश्न किया है कि जो लड़की है वो विंडोज से देखती है क्यों देखती है बिकॉज सी वॉज मैरिड और कुछ लोग कहाँ तक हैं तो कुछ लोग घर तक हैं कुछ लोग गांव तक हैं कुछ लोग वहां तक हैं ग्रेव तक है लेकिन वापस आ सकते हैं लेकिन इन दिस पोएम रामानुजन इज सिंपली डिस्क्राइब कि has the no compaction of the club together things and the human bring in the list of the things that come into the great house but do not go out for the peace cloth for our, our days middle class land and the muslin for our riches night later made have the way of finding their way back with the many reaction to wrong address and the red likeness now the next poet is dom morris dom morris was born in mumbai in 1938 educated at mumbai at jesus college his first book of poems which was a bringing return and published 1957 published when he dom was only 19 years the second poems 1960 john nobody 1965 poems 1955 to 65 and collected poems 1955 uh, 57 to 87 or spender 1990 dom morris he has also authored the several books of prose that include a volume of autobiography a travelog a biography of indira gandhi and a book on a cricketer sunil gavaskar here is the his poem the grandfather uh, what about the poem the grandfather in the grandfather he described the old age and it attained the warriors and wars have been portrayed in the poetry since antiquity dom's morris's grandfather is also a poem is grandfather is also a poem that deals with old age and liberation through the death the curves of the streets get more gaping when an old man futilely wait for freedom for the bondage of the lees of phrase more character character is by the two metaphors one first is prisoner a cell and second then to a birds in a cage grandfather is in a corner keep no time he cap his nostril till a single hair fall as a bookmark on a unthunder page the leather chair creep sapping with his breath for from breakfast till we tied him away before we dying to the sweet fury air of his small prison through whose window bar drawn by a moon he peck a feather means the poem grandfather open on a note of suggestible underlying his long lines grandfather in a corner keep no time he is a man resigned to his lost he used to pictorial image in the following line the active of chaffing threw away the husk at a harvest time 
once again underline in the idea of doing away something. Superfluous grandfather to experience in sublimity as light as husk. His book of life is open on an unthunder page. The poet built the poem metaphor by the metaphor, leading it in the archaeological quality, the cracking of a leather chair, and here breath bring to our mind sound that is jarring and the valuable. The uh, attribute of the old leather chair and cracking merge with the grandfather breathing. The family members move him after breakfast to his room, small prison, from which there is no escape and through the hose window he poke his feathery head. And it is a complex image with the with uh, dual meaning. It is a suggestion of grandfather age and secondly it is a refer to the strong caving for the freedom. The poet fused idea and emotion in the following line. The tales his drank full up toward the star, the travel and the serious have been superbly the characterized by the wit and irony. It is reminds of the creed of the metaphysical, the poet attitude is not conquer, nor is in the sympathy. It is the dispersion observation with no comment. The dandruff, the dandruff make his realize that he is not at dead. His life is still an unfinished wax, made by uncertainly in star. The reference in this poem, the poet give the reference to an eagle escape from the regent park. Express the grandfather's strong hearing for the freedom. Sadly, he realized that his turn has not yet come with a mood of resignation he slips. There is a dramatic twist in the second stanza. The grandfather is liked to the prisoner. His grandfather leaves out his old age as the forgotten by the death. The brilliant 